Ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Bain. You know this is serious if I'm using my real name. In 2014, I produced a short video on the importance of net neutrality. The fact that I'm having to talk about this again in 2017 is frankly ridiculous. But unfortunately, the FCC in the United States is in the process of attempting to once again abolish net neutrality. They're doing it with the unbelievably dishonestly named Restoring Internet Freedom Act. Unsurprisingly to a lot of you, you will probably realize that that act does the exact opposite of what it claims. This very short video is to give you a quick primer on what net neutrality is and to explain it to those who don't understand it and to be shared with perhaps friends, family members and colleagues that are also not aware of why this is a problem. Net neutrality is the concept that all traffic on the internet should be treated equally. At the moment, the concept of net neutrality is protected under the so-called Title II designation, meaning that it is classified as a utility. That means it's similar to something like water or electricity. You can only charge for the resource used. You can't charge extra for what it is used for. You can't charge a premium if you decide to pour water into a glass and drink it versus using it to water your plants. That is obviously ridiculous. And yet, abolition of net neutrality would allow for just that. The only people that the abolition of net neutrality benefits are the ISPs, large corporations that stand to gain financially and, of course, constrict and strangle their competition. Large internet service providers in the United States, such as Spectrum, formerly known as Time Warner, also own video streaming services, which compete directly with firms such as Netflix and Hulu. If net neutrality were abolished, these firms would be able to slow down their competition to the point of making them unusable forcing their customers to instead use the Spectrum-owned service. This is anti-competitive, it is monopolistic, and it is against the principles of the free market. It is universally bad for you, the consumer. There is absolutely no upside to this whatsoever. Were net neutrality provisions repealed in the United States, internet service providers would have the ability to charge you extra to access your favorite websites. If you chose not to do so, they could slow them down to a crawl. If that wasn't reason enough to support net neutrality, think about the wider implications. Slowing down and crippling access to websites can be used as a tool to suppress free speech. It can be used as a tool to manipulate public perception. It can be used as a tool to hamstring criticism of corporate interests. The abolition of net neutrality can quite literally be used as a tool to undermine democracy. Many political issues are complex, nuanced, and there is often not a simple right answer. There is no easy right or wrong. There is no black and white. There are no opposing teams here. Whether you lean left or right, up or down, it doesn't matter. The abolition of net neutrality is a net negative for every consumer there is. The only people to benefit from this are internet service providers. There is credible evidence to suggest that the abolition of net neutrality in any country, the United States or otherwise, can and will most likely result in that country falling behind in terms of its competitiveness on the world stage, whether it be economic growth, fighting unemployment or technological innovation. These are all things that will suffer with the abolition of net neutrality. Regardless of your political orientation, unless you happen to be the CEO of a large ISP, you will suffer if net neutrality is abolished. Over the last few months, the large corporations that do oppose net neutrality have been ramping up the propaganda, astroturfing and chilling efforts. During the FCC's public consultation period, the website was flooded with identical comments accompanied by obviously fake names. The FCC received over 128,000 identical anti-net neutrality comments. While it is entirely possible that some people have been misled into believing that the Restoring Internet Freedom Act actually does that thing, the vast majority of these comments were posted by bots. Comcast attempted to aggressively shut down the site comcastastroturf.com with a cease and desist order. 
Make no mistake about it. These large corporations are actively fighting to take away your rights, to take away your freedom, to inconvenience you, and to charge you more money for the same service you are currently getting now. This is not a partisan issue. This is an issue of consumers versus malicious corporate interests. July the 12th is the net neutrality day of action. And yes, there are things that you can do to help. I've included a list of links in the description below this video, which includes sources that back up everything I've said today, as well as methods to easily contact US Congress members and the FCC. Make no mistake about it, folks. This is a battle for the future of the internet as we know it. I've turned off ads and monetization on this video so that I can, in all good conscience, tell you to share this with as many people as possible. Regardless of whether or not you live in the United States or you don't, this is going to be an issue for you one way or the other. It's important to raise awareness, it's important to educate, and it is important that the astroturfing efforts and dishonest behavior of major corporate ISPs are not left unanswered. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.